Hello everyone and welcome to another Forge tutorial. My name is Andrew and today I am teaching you stuff about uh, well, getting creative with your pieces in Halo Anniversary Forge. Pretty much just uh, using a bunch of textures so that everything's not all brown and just pretty much using pieces differently other than you know, for their obvious purpose. Now he right now I'm setting up a uh, an elevated platform with a wall and as you can see I'm using these very basic pieces uh, uh, such as the blocks and this is something that I've noticed a lot of newer forgers do which is just using pieces you know I guess in a boring way or not really getting creative with their pieces in Halo 4 this led to a lot of maps looking incredibly gray with barely any contrast in Halo 2 Anniversary I've noticed some maps that uh, some friends of mine have shown me that are just well too brown since that's the main texture of the of the forge palette in this game but uh we are given metallic textures by the bridges and i th really suggest that uh you guys who are new to forging uh you should use this because this will really spice up your map and you can't don't just limit yourself to using the basic blocks as uh, i guess the flooring of your map you can use these grass terrains you can use the flat pieces you know just a bunch of different textures that you can mess around with and right now I'm just gonna lay down some pieces that have different textures other than the b basic rock texture that most of the blocks have actually all of the blocks have the same texture and this this is very helpful but if you just use the same pieces all over again your map will look very bland and boring so yeah just gonna be giving my tips on how to get creative with your pieces using different textures and whatnot and uh, you can use your bridges for walls you can use even use these ramps for walls for example this ramp stunt has a very nice looking texture it's a mixture of metal and rock and right now I'm just gonna pretty much just demonstrate on how you can get creative with your pieces instead of using the ramp stunt as an actual ramp I'm using its uh, front side as the texture for my wall and then just using the block for the thing that players will actually be standing on and yeah that's just an example of getting creative with your pieces I've seen a lot of people also neglect to use these ramp stunts but they have a very very clean texture which you can use as flooring or even as a uh, wall right now I'm just gonna demonstrate what it looks like if you use it as flooring as you can see it's very clean and has this really nice looking metallic texture now this tutorial won't really help most of you experienced forgers because you probably know how to do this by now. This is mostly for you know the people who are just starting out in Forge, who are you know just hopping in to see what it what it's all about. And uh, these are just my beginning tips if you're planning on creating a map. You can also use these platform extra larges or yeah I think these are the platform extra larges. You can use them as a flooring. Just make sure to seal in those um, holes and although it will create some Z fighting every now and then but it you get the point just pretty much using its metallic texture but uh, you know if you want to save some save up on your pieces you can use a cylinder large flip it on the side and it pretty much has the same exact texture as the platform extra large but you know it's less there's gonna be less Z fighting because you're just using one piece now I'm just gonna show you this map that I quickly whipped up as an example of you know using your textures properly and uh, n in no way is this map a, <laughs> a good map I'm just it just demonstrate a good way of using the piece textures uh, properly or creatively I suppose but uh, I just quickly whipped this up I barely thought about this map's design so <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would play pretty badly but uh, as you can see I used these bridge larges as the walling in some parts of the map and then use the regular blocks as the platforms and it creates this nice little mesh of colors and textures that you know some players or some newer forgers haven't really been utilizing in the new forge we've been given some players also use these cliff pieces as their walling and uh, for me I added this uh, different texture I used this antenna satellite and uh, just flipped it on its side to add a different color to my walling and then I also added these trees on the borders for uh, a little bush effect that I did a tutorial on that earlier in a previous video so go check that out you can also use these bridges as a wall as you can see I flipped this one vertically and uh, it cr has this little you know a nice looking pipe thing up here I also used um, trim largest to kind of break the 
the brown color of the walls. You can you can do that if everything's a little too brown still for your taste. You can use these trim largest just, just make just the uh, slightest bit of them visible just, just so they can break the bland color and add a little more texture. And uh, let's see what else I have here. I have that nice little teleporter. Oh, over here. You can also use these large walkway covers and flip them on their flat side to create a nice little wall. Uh, some people have been doing this already in Halo 4, but the texture of the large walkway cover wasn't really that good. But this time it has a really nice looking texture that's actually quite different from the other metallic looking pieces in the game. And over here, I used these flat pieces to kind of make up the main flooring of my map. And that's just to break up all the green from this terrain piece that I used in this area of the map. And uh, yeah, that's just pretty much it. This is just all my tips on uh, using pieces creatively. Don't limit yourself to what I've shown you in this video. You know, get creative, as the title of the video suggests. You know, play around with some pieces, rotate them, like look at the different kinds of ways which you can use them because that is how you create a unique forge map. Anyway, that is pretty much it for me. I hope you guys found this video helpful or useful in any way. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.